Okay, geometry, chapter 1, section 5. Notice it's measuring and constructing angles. I just put measuring angles on here because we will actually do the constructions in class. And so there won't be any constructions on this screencast. It's just a little more difficult to do on the board, and I like to show them live. So when we get there, um, I will let you know that, and we will be um, needing our compass at that point. So just very basic. We'll start off with... Uh, with all of our types of angles, you know, we have the lovely little angle, which is so acute. Look at that acute angle. And then we have our angle that is a little bit bigger than acute. And that's our obtuse angle. You know what would be really great if I was a teacher is to be very technical on this and let you know that this one is less than 90 degrees. Obviously, it would have to be greater than 0 degrees and wouldn't be negative, but I'm just going to put less than 90 degrees. <coughs> the obtuse angle is going to be greater than 90 degrees, but it's also going to be less than 180 degrees. because our angle that is equal to 180 degrees is our line, which is also to be uh, drawn such as this. And as we're going through here, some of you are probably thinking, Mr. Renault, you forgot one, and I sure did. But the good thing about live recording is I can go in and I can put one there here in just a minute. So the order really doesn't matter. A straight angle is obviously going to be equal to 180 degrees. And then the one that I forgot, unfortunately, sorry about this, Mr. Right Angle, but I forgot about you, and I want to draw you correctly. So this way and this way and that is our right angle and obviously our right angle is going to be equal to 90 degrees so there's our four classification of angles acute right obtuse and straight okay so now we're going to look at some actual um, we're going to solve for some values so let's say I had an obtuse angle and I'm going to label that A B and C. Okay. So you could call that angle A B C or C B A, either one, just as long as the vertice, which is B, is in the middle of those two letters. So what if I told you that A B C angle A B C, that's the angle mark. Um, let's get one out of the book so I make sure I know I don't have any crazy answers. Let's say that's 145 degrees. And then I told you that I'm going to create another angle and then give you those values of 2x plus 10. So this angle right here is 2x plus 10. And the second angle is going to be 4x minus 3. Then I would ask you to solve for x. So obviously those two letters, let's call this, um, or those two angles, let's call this letter D. So angle ABD which is this angle right here plus angle DBC is going to be this angle. Whoop. Wanted to get green on that one. There we go. Which is going to be this angle right here. 
those added together are going to equal the total angle of ABC. So now we just substitute what we know. We know that ABD is 2x plus 10. We know that DBC is 4x minus 3. And we know that angle ABC was given to us at 145 degrees. So this just is this is just like uh, segment addition the other day, except obviously it's angle addition. So this would be called the angle addition postulate. And so we're going to add our like terms together, giving us 6x plus 7 equals 145. And then we're going to go back to our algebra days, and we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. giving us 6x equals 138, dividing both sides by 6. x equals, uh, let's see, that's 23. So they might ask you what x equals. They might also ask you to find the angles, to find angle ABD and to find angle DBC. So that's a piece of cake. We can just substitute our 23 in there. So for ABD, that's going to be 2 times 23 plus 10. So that's going to be 46 plus 10, which is going to give me 56 degrees. Now, from this point, I could go ahead and find out what DBC is, or I could subtract 56 from 145, and that would also get it. I'm going to go ahead and substitute it in, uh, just because I want to show that work. So that's going to be 2, excuse me, that's going to be 4, pardon me, times 23, whoop, minus 3. Okay, so that's going to give me uh, 46, 92, and 92 minus 3, whoop, having a little trouble on the bottom end of the board here, is going to give me 89 degrees. So if I took 89 degrees and I added it to 56 degrees, then I should end up with 145 degrees, which I do. So that works out. OK, so then you might get an example where they don't tell you what the angle is. Um, you just have to know your classifications of angles. So obviously, in this situation, um, KLM is a straight angle, giving us a total degrees of 180. So now we just take these two values, 10x minus 5, and add 4x plus 3. And we set those equal to 180 degrees. Again, combining our like terms at that point. So that's going to give me 14x uh, minus 2 equals 180. Back to our algebra roots. That gives me 14x equals uh, 182. And when I divide both sides by 14. Whew, I don't know what happened there. Again, technology, is, that old board's just got a mind of its own this morning. Um, so we are looking at, let's see, that's going to go in one time, 14, 42, so 13 total times. So now we go back to figure those out. That's going to be 10 times 13 minus 5. That's going to be 130 minus 5. So the first angle is 125. And now I'm going to use the different method this time. Instead of substituting it in, just to show you, I'm just going to take that 125, and I'm going to subtract it from my straight angle. Giving me 55 degrees. So again, showing both methods. You're welcome to use whichever one you want. That is Chapter 1, Section 5, Measuring Angles.